Hey, this is Rob from King Grizzly. You know, sometimes when you're building a website, it can be difficult because there's so many options that you can take. Uh, there's so many decisions that, that you need to make and it's hard to know uh, what to do and why. And so today I'm gonna hopefully help you a little bit by leading you through five questions you need to ask before building your next website. And we're gonna do it in five minutes. Let's do this. Question number one, what does success look like? So I would encourage you that building a website is only one measure of success, right? So actually building the site, uh, that's, a great, that's a great metric, uh, but it's only one. And so it's really important, especially if you're working with a client, to figure out what they view as success because they may have a very particular vision in their mind and you might build a really nice website, but if you don't do what they're thinking, then in their mind, it's not going to be a success. An easy way to get to this question without being so direct um, is to ask, why now? Why now? Why, why, why do the project now? What was the pain point that prompted this? What was the, the inspiration that, that got you desiring to build this site at this time? Uh, because there's a lot of forces that you have to overcome, right, to build a site. And so if you can kind of hone in on, well, why now? A lot of times that'll lead you to the question of, well, what really matters and how are you going to view um, success or lack of success? Number two, what is motivating your audience? So an important theme of building websites is that most of the time you're not building for yourself. You're building for your user, you're building for your client's audience, and they have particular motivations that they bring with them when they visit your website. And those motivations lead them to interact with your client, with your products, with your services, you know, whatever it may be. Um, and it can be really helpful to think through what are the pain points that they have? You know, what's bothering them so much that they would use one of your products or services to fix it? Or, you know, what are they after? What are they looking to achieve in their life so much that they're willing to engage with your website? And oftentimes this can help you to think through the priority and the layout of your website so that it speaks to the motivations of your audience. It can be fun to just build a cool website, but if you wanna build an effective website, you want a website that speaks to the motivation of the, people, of the person using it. Number three, how do you want your website to feel? Oftentimes when we're, when we're thinking about the visual design of the website, we'll ask our clients to come up with adjectives. So these are just one word descriptions of how they want the website to feel. For example, I'd like it to feel professional. I'd like it to feel friendly. I'd like it to feel easy. I'd like it to feel dramatic. I'd like it to feel bold. You know, whatever that combination is, it's a really fun activity to do with your internal team, with yourself or uh, with a client. And what it does is it kind of helps put a picture together of what you're aiming for with that look and feel of the website. Number four, where are your sources of inspiration? So you can find inspiration all over, right? Different people find inspiration in different ways, but I've found that there's a couple of key sources. Um, one is I love to look at competitors, especially competitors that are doing something really well uh, because they're in the same space, they're doing something similar, and I can be inspired by the things that they're doing well. Another source of inspiration in terms of like the visual design is that on the internet, there are tons of websites, or at least there's a lot of websites, right? That, that feature various um, design galleries where they've got pictures of websites and website ideas. Um, you can probably think through a few of these websites just off the top of your head, but scrolling through these websites, looking at these designs, trying to find best in class design, um, is a helpful way for me to draw inspiration. Um, and the last one, and, and I just mentioned it, is really looking for best in class. So it doesn't have to be the same industry, it doesn't have to be the same niche, but look around at some of those top websites with people that you know, that you know are doing it really well and look at some of the ways that they're doing it and draw from that as inspiration for how you might do your project even better. And lastly, number five, what are the website requirements? I put this number five on purpose 
oftentimes we make this number one, right? You start a website and you say, well, what do I need? I need these pages, these, this functionality, and you start building. Well, oftentimes the truth is, especially with larger projects, you don't necessarily know all the requirements when you start. You have some idea, um, but we like to put it near the end of the questions. That way, um, maybe some additional functionality or requirements might be revealed along the way. But you still need to get there, right? You need to talk about these nuts and bolts of what are the pages, what are the forms, what are the integrations, things like that. You do need to get there, and so it's an important question to ask. So there you have it, five questions that you need to ask before building your next website. Number one, what does success look like? Number two, what is motivating your audience? Number three, how do you want your website to feel? Number four, where are your sources of inspiration? And number five, what are the website requirements? If you like this video, please subscribe. If you have questions or comments, leave those below. And thanks so much.